Hello and welcome to The Lowdown, the University of Salford's very own show, bringing you news from campus and keeping you up to date with what's to come from your union and university. Uh, this week I'm joined by Kobe Afori, the Sabbatical Officer for Science and Technology. Uh, so Kobe, just tell us a little bit about your role as the Sabbatical Officer. Yes, thank you very much. So as Sabbatical Officers, we are the drivers of the change that students want to see on campus by running campaigns, you know, inclusive events, and more importantly, um, representing student voice and be there to listen all the time. And what are your key manifesto points and, and how do you make sure that you, you push them through? Right, so my key manifesto point um, this year is to get a letting agency that is run by the students' union to give students safe housing, you know, good pricing, for them to get more options you know, when it comes to housing. So that's one of my key priorities and also working with international students to give them more support and then careers and employability, getting international students there or, and then doing like more workshops that students can benefit from more career career fairs and stuff like that. Yeah. And what what issues have you come across doing that? Because I'm, I'm assuming if you write something like a letting agency, you're going to be mm -hmm. coming into contact with the council yep. and they can be notoriously difficult. Difficult, the yeah. But um, for me, luckily for me, I have a different um, department that goes to the <laughs> council. someone else dealing with that. <laughs> so that's like sort of for me. But I'm, I'm still working hand in hand with them. Um, hopefully we'll not get that kind of backlash that you get with the council and everything is going to go on smoothly. Yeah. Perfect. And as a graduate, what advice do you have uh, for current students like myself? Um, I would say get involved. There's so much you can get out of a university. You don't just let the university pass through you, like I say to people. Mm. Be, be involved, network, get contacts from here. And that's what you build yourself with, you know, after you leave university. And that's what got me here. That's what got me elected. And uh, we know that there was the Diversity Games yeah. last week, um, which I believe you were at as well. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to actually uh, take a look at a, a video for that later on um, in celebration of Black History Month as well. But what exactly was it? Just just briefly outline it for us. Yeah, so Black History Month, you know, celebrating the achievements of black people um, throughout this month. We've done debates, you know, movie nights every Wednesdays. And the Black History Month Diversity Games was also a part of it. Mm -hmm. So what we did was to just shine the light on our black sports athletes that inspire us. You know, every day like Mo Farah and to the Joshua you know, stuff like that so we had eight teams and then people came through it was so amazing to see I mean you see the videos later on it was so amazing and then free membership was up for grabs and we got some medals for everybody as well Perfect. all the participants for keep so it was amazing yeah lovely thank yeah. you very much thank you uh, right, we're now in October, which is obviously Halloween, but more importantly, Black History Month. Uh, and here at Salford, we held the Diversity Games, a sports day where the winner receives a free month's gym membership from the Sports Centre. Our reporters Rachel Allison and TK Madiwa went to find out more. Uh, I'm now joined by Amber from Salford Netball. Um, so Amber, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Okay. Um, first things first, what would you say are the benefits of joining a society? Uh, any society in general, I would say social elements are a massive bonus. So making friends, 
um, just getting out there, doing something like but studying. Um, and I would say joining a sports society especially has so many benefits, fitness-wise, health-wise. Before I came to university, there wasn't much I did fitness-wise, but definitely joining a sports club um, gets that fitness up, uh, especially for netball as well. Yeah, and many people join the societies for obviously the society and, that, uh, and the sport itself. Yeah, definitely. But many people as well do it for the social side. You know, <laughs> yeah. Societies are notorious for, for putting mm -hmm. off uh, good socials. So sell netball to me netball. if i wanted to join netball sell you could sell join netball, netball. Yeah. um so as netball society uh we train twice a week uh so fitness wise you're bound to be fit in a couple of weeks time anyone for any fitness any walks of life you can come to netball um we're trying to get more teams into playing professionally to playing uh more universities each week so that's our main goal um but socially wise we go on tour uh each year and um, last year we went to Lorette de Mar. And you're the, you're the tour secretary as well, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm tour sec this year. <laughs> so it um, just basically means having a lot of fun, meeting loads of different sports um, societies as well, mingling. It's not, it's not just netball that goes on no, tour. It's, no, no. It's uh, all of Team Salford's. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great to kind of feel like really patriotic yeah. with like Salford, <laughs> um, with, you know, whether it's football, cheer, um, Boys and girls, it's it's great fun and getting to know people as well. I didn't know people at the beginning of netball. Went on tour, in like April time, yeah. and uh, made some really really good friends. It was so much fun as well. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, so, what advice would you have for students that do want to get involved? Um, just get involved. Whether it's um, you know once a week or twice a week, um, we kind of have this open door policy where if you want to play friendly, just come on Thursdays, come and chill with your friends, throw yeah. a ball around, a little bit like that. But if you want to play competitively, we've got an amazing coach called Lona on Mondays and she's you know, very good at what she does, um, yeah. fitness-wise, drills. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good, even if you just want to go for a drink with yeah. netball afterwards. It, it's so much fun and I recommend Perfect. anyone joining. Lovely. So. Well, thank you very much. Uh, netball runs at the Sports Centre on Mondays 8 till 10 and Thursdays 6 till 8. Uh, and all the best for the club's future as thank well. You, um, if you haven't already, take a look at some of the societies on offer here at Salford via the Student Union's website. Um, now, let's take a look back at an absolute staple of the Atmosphere calendar. Last week saw a click of drag queens sashay on down into Atmosphere for a night of bingo on Friday the 13th. Uh, the night was hosted by Giselle, one of the biggest drag queens in the north, and of course featured uh, live DJs as well. Uh, make sure you follow uh, at Salford SU on Twitter for up-to-date information and all events to come. And finally, let's take a look at what's coming up over the next few weeks here at the University of Salford. As part of the university's 50th anniversary and its partnership with the Salford Museum and Art Gallery, the What's in Store exhibition showcases and celebrates the University of Salford art collection. It brings together a collection of work from over 30 artists, some of which have never been on public display together at the same time. It's available to see at Silver Museum and Art Gallery on the main campus Tuesday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday, 12 to 4 p.m. for absolutely nothing. It's completely free until the 19th of November. Now, do you think you could be the next Hapax Legomenon? Do you think you have what it takes to represent our university in the prestigious University Challenge? Star on BBC Two and meet the infamous Jeremy Paxman. There's a drop-in application day on October 30th between 10 and 4 at University House. You'll have as much time as you need to fill in the entry quiz required to get in. Now, one of the uh, Student Union's biggest events is returning for its third year. It's time for Atmosphere 2017. The Halloween secret location party is looking to be bigger and better than ever. Pre-party starts in the SU before a coach takes you to an unknown secret location for a full night of amazing guest DJs and live actors. 80% of tickets are now gone and still going fast. So get your tickets now from SalfordStudents.com. We hope to see you at some of those events coming up. If not, we'll catch you on our next episode on the 8th of November from 3 p.m. or on YouTube at Keys TV. Don't forget, you can also check out our Twitter page at The Lowdown and email us uh, at thelowdownus at gmail.com to be featured on the next show. Have a great week for now. I'm your host, Joe Wilmot. Bye for now.